all right aiden's army of angels so um i think a lot of people are a little bit confused as to why i i am so adamant about fighting so let me give you an analogy something happens to you say a woman gets raped when a woman gets raped you call the police and when you call the police the police conduct an investigation and they find that these claims are true they arrest those involved they assign a prosecuting attorney and the victim is protected and they work through this attorney to get justice and they get the restitution and justice and that's how it's done that's how it works with any crime so when i reported to las vegas police department that a crime had occurred they should have conducted an investigation had they conducted an investigation they would have seen i was telling the truth they would have then assigned a prosecuting attorney the prosecuting attorney would have went after everybody and he would have went after everybody i would have got an annulment and i would have got restitution damages and justice but the whole point of all of this was to ensure i get no justice and that i'm not heard and that everybody gets away with what they've done to me and i'm not accepting that so that is why i'm fighting so to try to tell somebody who got raped to say go find who did it they don't do that or they say well why don't you litigate on on behalf of yourself or go get a civil attorney to to pr press charges against them it's not how it works a victim of a crime has rights has rights to be protected has rights to have privacy have rights to have dignity they've taken all that from me i have had no rights at all i've been treated as i'm the criminal because i want justice so i want you guys to tune in it's going to be quite a bit of videos this is the evidence removed by Raina Hughes at trial. The same evidence that was uploaded into two separate cases, legal separation and to the divorce case. So I'm gonna show you how they had all this information for two years and they let everybody steal from me, embezzle from me. And now they're just basically just gonna try to rob me blind. So for two years, two and a half years, I've been begging somebody to help me, to uphold my rights as a victim of a crime and to protect me from these people. But instead, they allowed my lawyers to commit malpractice. Still haven't contacted any of them. None of them are in trouble. This is just a normal practice. They screw people all the time. The bar covers it up. Everybody covers it up. And it's all swept under the rug and sorry for the victim. And then they're free to keep practicing law and hurting people. So I wanna know why, after you guys see all this evidence, Jennings and Fulton law firm is still open. I want to know why Logan Wilson isn't in jail. I want to know why Adam Fulton isn't in jail. Why Jared Jennings and Grayson Moulton are not in jail. Why Garrett Chase is not in jail. Because I am a victim that has been harassed, mocked, laughed at, and I'm still being threatened to this day with nobody willing to follow the law. So please tune in. I'm going to have to split up the videos on Instagram to get them all up because there's only 12 minutes at a time. But I'm going to go through the entire filing that I gave to Raina Hughes, what she ignored, and the abuse they allowed to continue. So as Bob Yanti continues to try to save himself and make up all these fake messages and, you know, upload all these different things, the simple fact is that day at the closing, I wasn't there. The escrow agent can't notarize her own document. But she did and she did it to forge my name so this is all very clear and concise so all of these things he keeps making up and it I'm, I'm sick i want to know when you guys are going to arrest somebody when are you guys going to stop allowing my foundation to be slandered my work to be slandered resources for sick kids to be interfered with how long before somebody does something because at this point I'm going to start doing citizen's arrest and we are going to start going to their homes and arresting them ourselves because we have plenty of clear and concise evidence. The same evidence, this, this evidence that was taken out by Raina Hughes, I gave it to Mary Kay Holthus. I gave it to Elizabeth Gonzalez. I gave it to Jim Crockett, who is now reviewing everything to see if he's going to force the attorney general to act. I gave it to Judge Rob Bear, who is currently has my quiet title case. So he, they all know. They're all basing their finding facts of law on Raina Hughes. 
Well, Raina Hughes is not a civil attorney. I mean, a civil judge. So she can't rule on the title company in Linda Naw. The title company didn't even come to the divorce hearing. So they knew before they even had this hearing at the divorce trial that the deed wasn't valid from the respondent docs provided by Bobby's lawyer, but allowed this to continue. So I will keep exposing them and I will not be moving out of my home. I will be fighting for quiet title is what I'm entitled to. I also would like to know how did Liberty Mutual deny the bond of the escrow agent when she notarized her own document? So Liberty Mutual is now concealing fraud. So you guys can all unanimously decide to ignore me, but I will keep exposing each and every single one of you guys. So you guys enjoy the videos and hopefully this changes something because I've many of moms reached out to me that they've gone through this too. This is a normal thing in family court where they force to sell at homes. They give the, the fees to attorneys. Like at some point, when are we going to say us as people, we want an honest government. We want honest attorneys. We want people held to standards. We want our laws followed. Otherwise, we as taxpayer, taxpayers, we don't want to pay you guys no more. We don't want an attorney general that lets these kind of things happen. We don't want a secretary of state and a county recorder that fraudulently record things. We want honest people. We want honest people willing to follow the law and not do favors for friends. So in Las Vegas, it's a small city. All these doctors, all these lawyers, all these judges, they live in the same country clubs. Their kids go to the same private school, Gorman. So it's, they say there's no conflict of interest, but the, Las Vegas in itself is a conflict of interest. We have one courthouse. So this is how easy it is for them to steal everything you worked for. This is how easy it is for someone to take advantage of you. And as long as you know enough rich people, that it's okay. And Bobby doesn't know anybody. Linda Na doesn't know anybody. They're both trash. The only person who does is their broker and the national title company, that owner. And those are the people who's made phone calls to the police department and the police department then ignored me. Then I called secretary of state. They ignored me and they never thought it would get this far. Well, now all of you guys have been exposed and half of the Nevada judicial system needs to be shut down. And I've done all the work for you guys. So FBI, CIA, jump in at any time, because if I could figure this all out in five months, imagine what y'all could figure out if you actually looked.